On a scale of one to 10, how concerned are you with Results Day? There's so many students in your position that worldwide that are going through stress, anxiety, even overwhelm, especially due to today's modern climate. Sam. Yeah, with what's been going on with coronavirus, lots of you guys haven't even sat an exam. You haven't been in the exam hall, and that leads to a feeling of being out of control. Those stresses and worries that Dale mentioned have been amplified and even exaggerated. So check out our five tips for a stress-free Results Day. Welcome to, to Results, results and, chill. and Chill. The C in Chill stands for Communicate. And if you're feeling stressed, worried, or anxious, it's so important to open up and share how you're feeling with a teacher, a friend, a parent, or someone close to you. Opening up and sharing your problems is so, so important. It makes you feel lighter and it gets those worries off your back. If you don't feel confident in talking about your problems or worries, then writing this stuff down is equally important. When we write, we're able to express how we really feel. And this is all about expressing and not suppressing how you feel inside. The H in chill stands for happiness. This is so important for you to actually have self-care for you by doing the things that you love doing that make you happy. It's vital that you look after number one, which is you. In the famous words of Tony Robbins, motion creates emotion. It's so important for you to move. And if one of your hobbies to do with happiness is to move and be active, fantastic because that is going to release a dopamine and it's going to change your state and it's going to help you become the architect of your own happiness because ultimately just do what makes you happy. So the I in chill stands for intention. There's a famous quote of where your attention goes your energy flows and what you choose to focus on during this time is so so important. Trying to control results day or the future is a bit like trying to control the weather. We all want it to be sunny all the time, but it's impossible to predict the conditions you're going to get. You can have high expectations of what you want to achieve on results day, but ultimately it's out of your control. Set the intention to show up for the next few days, focusing on what you can control. What are the actual facts? Not write the stories. The stories you might be telling yourself are something like this. What if I fail? What if I can't get into that uni? What if my parents are disappointed in me? You see, we're so great at creating stories instead of focusing on the actual facts. And the facts are you've got everything inside of you to learn, grow, and become the best version of yourself. Remember, everything is always on the way, nothing is ever in the way. I stands for intention. The first L of chill is leadership. Winston Churchill had a great quote, the price of greatness is responsibility. Look, sometimes life doesn't go as planned, we get that, but it's really important to create a structure, a plan, A, B, or C, to move forward, just in case things don't go the way you expected them to. And look, this is where we want you to become a leader of your own life because you cannot be attached to the fact that your plan didn't go as planned. Don't judge yourself on the fact that that result happened. Don't judge yourself on that outcome. Judge the fact on who you are going to be when it comes to you. Are you gonna all act out? Are you gonna be immature? Are you gonna blame other people? Are you gonna take responsibility? Just like Winston Churchill said. It'd be really helpful as well if you had a nice support network with you as well. Okay, so L is leadership. And the final L of chill stands for learning. You see, on results day, you've got a massive chance to learn, grow, and become the best version of yourself. You see, whatever happens, even if you have a failure or setback, it's there for you. It's there to help you grow and flourish. Some of the most famous people in history, such as JK Rowling, Walt Disney, Steve Jobs, suffered massive failures at the start of their careers or businesses. But since then, they've learned from those failures and setbacks and have become some of the most successful people on the planet. Why I say this is because you are bigger than a piece of paper with numbers and data on it. You're a human being and you're awesome, you are unique and you are enough. And if you do have a failure or a setback on the day, be proactive and ask yourself these two questions. The first is what can I learn from this? And the second is how can I use this knowledge? Whatever happens on the day, you've got a great chance to learn and grow. So the last L stands for learning. Remember, whatever happens on results day, those grades and data and numbers are not going to define you. This is just a stepping stone that's going to help you propel you to an even better future. And whatever happens on the day, you're going to go on to achieve great, amazing and awesome things in your life. If you want to connect with Sam on Instagram, check out Student Breakthrough. And if you want to connect with Dale, check out Dale Vincent Coaching. Really hope that you enjoyed our video today. Results and chill.